This screencast will show you how to do a quick site from iSearch into your Noodle Tools Works Cited. So the first thing you want to do is come down, open your Noodle Tools account and get to your Works Cited so it's ready to go. And then we'll be toggling back and forth between Noodle Tools and the iSearch site. And when you get into Noodle Tools, you'll have your list of projects. You'll want to open the project, which will then take you to your dashboard. Your navigation icons or tabs are all going to be right at the top there. So I'm in my dashboard now. I want to click over to sources, and now I'm ready to go out and find some good research. This tab is, is where I want to be. From the middle school site, I'm going to scroll up, click on iSearch. From home, don't forget you're going to have to put a username and password in, which you can access from those database passwords um, under site shortcuts. And I am going to put in the phrase digital citizenship. So notice I'm putting quotation marks around it. That's going to pull any results with those two words together. And of course, my library tab is default and going to show up first but i'm going to click over to the basic resources tab or the basic sources tab and then just for the sake of this um, i'm going to kind of just look scan the article titles the sources morning edition npr looks like a pretty solid option there and since it is npr that's a radio program you or morning edition is a radio program you're going to be given a transcript which you would be able to still get some pretty great information you want to read the article first determine if it's going to be of course useful for your research and then you'll want to cite it so as i'm viewing and downloading this we would say okay i found a specific quote that i want to to use with my research and now i'm ready to cite it so over here on the right hand side you have your tools and the fourth one down is cite you'll see every citation format in existence pretty much we're going to scroll down to mla and here it is ready to go for me all finished saves you a ton of time so you can focus on the hard stuff which is finding the really good information and weaving it into a lovely product <laughs> so i've copied it i'm going to now head back to the noodle tools tab that's ready to go create a new citation from a database and then this is a radio program and transcript of that so right now we can just choose radio program and this is where you could kind of piecemeal in all of the information field by field but we don't have to because from a database we can choose quick site and paste it into a simplified field you'll notice it'll probably turn into a black strip when i highlight over it the full citation is there um, and if that bothers you, you can highlight it, right click, paste in match style, or paste as plain text, and it will then go away. It's kind of a weird quirk. But we're almost done. All we have to do now is go back and get the permalink in case in a week or a couple weeks we want to refer back to this exact article. We'll be able to, to get more research. So the permalink, when you click on that tool over to the right, will reveal itself right here where which i'm going to copy notice i am not taking this url up in the um the web address field because that could be different tomorrow so the permalink is a permanent link to this article it won't change it will always follow it and that is what we want to paste into this url field we can click submit When you look at the citation, you'll notice that it will have the full citation there 
then the view live web page, this is the URL or the permalink that you had just pasted in. You'll notice that I just cited that a little bit ago as well. <laughs> but that's how you do it. So good luck.